Let's apply the inverse Fortescue transformation to a random and balanced system. From a simple matrix multiplication, we obtain the positive sequence the negative sequence, which we place head to tail with the positive one. And finally, the zero sequence to achieve equality with the original vectors. We need to keep in mind that all the vectors here are rotating at the same frequency. Let's then examine a practical case a line-to-line -line fault between phases B and C, for example, which is a typical fault that can occur in a three-phase system. In this case, the phase voltages B and C are essentially the same, assuming the fault impedance is low, and phase A remains mostly unchanged. Some observations give us insight into what the sequences actually represent. First, the zero sequence is null. This is because it is proportional to the current flowing through the neutral line. But in this case, since no conductor is in contact with the ground, the neutral voltage does not rise. Second, the positive and negative sequences are equal. This is because the negative sequence reflects the power returning to the source. In this scenario, the current in line B returns via line C. Hence, the equality between the two sequences.